Hello guys, today I am going to be teaching you how to do the echo clone effect in the program After Effects. This is what the final product looks like and I'll show you how to do it just in a second. Rendering menu. Okay, so let's start off by making a new composition however you want it. I use the GoPro to film this. Now I'm going to import my clip right into here. That's just the normal whoa wrong one. My bad. I'm going to import this clip. This is just my normal one person doing a half cab. Now right away what you're going to want to do duplicate the layer command D and you're going to want to drag it like maybe one or two seconds ahead you could edit it later have that one on top and then what you're gonna do you go to the rectangle tool and draw a mask alright you see how it overlaps that one but you're gonna have to position the mask to fit to where it doesn't get in the way of the first clip so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go MP M so you do a mask path click that and then you play it you see how that cuts them off so you're gonna want to take the mask for right now and drag it out of the screen that's it's a marker crap let me just delete that real quick now so when it starts it'll show him going out and then what you want to do is you want to take your mask and you drag it out a little bit and then there's your second guy and all you're gonna do all you have to do is just follow him with the box until he is out of the frame Ooh, crap. right there and then he rides out and so does your mask just like that so the finished product would look like this now see that's a little spaced out when you want to make it closer all you have to do just click this layer drag it back a little bit so now you play it oh that's a little too much Let's say right about there is that where I had it before so that guy goes then there's damn Move back a little bit I'm doing this crud You gotta drag that back, remake a keyframe so that they're a little bit closer. Now you could just delete and edit these. So like I could just drag this one like here, so then I can make the clips closer. That one. So that you can just shrink the box a little bit just to make it so you could fit the clips closer and so that gotta delete the old clip right here delete that one and then it's good so now that I've shrunken those I could set it back a little bit more so that when it starts he will be a lot closer. Oh crud, that one's bad. Might want to redo this. This one's bad too. Damn. There we go. Oh, it cuts his body off a little bit, so what you're going to want to do is drag that. It'll set a keyframe so that it doesn't touch the body. Oh, there we go again. I think I'll just drag a little bit more. 
So then, clone, clone, they don't touch each other, they don't overlap, and it goes out. And then after you're done with that, all you want to do is just take this layer, duplicate, and then drag it a little bit, duplicate, drag it a little bit, duplicate, drag it a little bit, and then you've got multiple U's doing whatever you want to clone. Now, to blend the backgrounds, like just in case it gets a little blurry, like say you're doing different clips, you're going to want to, here, let me do this with all of them. You're going to want to go to the mask and feather it just a little bit so that the, the frames blend, just so you don't get that defined box around it. Like as you could see, a little bit, there's you could see the boxes. You just want to give it a nice feather so that they blend. And then that's pretty much it. That's how you do the echo clone effect. Just perfect. It's pretty simple. So yeah, thanks for watching.